Yo! 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 Death Tangle. How's it going? We're all good? Awesome, I don't gotta do this. Uh, it's good to see you, we're all drinking. I like drinking. I don't like drinking here, though. I find the bartenders are a little too predictable for my tastes. Because order, er, uh -huh. Cameron, you're confident, you're strong, people like you. Like, leads to unrealistic expectations of what I expect from it, you know? Like, uh, take that television show Friends. I don't have any of those. I don't know where to get them. I don't know how. I don't know what to do with them. Because they're around. Everyone else talks about them. I wish I did. So instead, I get, I get high. I, get, I smoke a lot of weed. And this morning, I was smoking weed on my porch. And um, my neighbor appeared. You know, as neighbors do, they just appear. And uh, which was a fucking tone, you know, she had a tone about her. She said, uh, hi, I think your weed smoke has drifted into my house and it got in my baby's room and I think you got my baby high. <laughs> but I'm an understanding guy, you know, so I said, your baby can be at five dollars whenever. That's not, I'm not gonna hold that against you. That's totally all right. <laughs> So, uh, me and my girlfriend, we were talking about racism in here in the system because it makes her squirt. And I uh, I'm from Southeast Alabama, all right? And I moved to Portland about five years ago. And I'm becoming a much more progressive, liberal person, you know? Like, now I don't see skin color anymore. I don't see skin color. Now I just see people who think I'm full of shit. So, it's going well. And what an important joke. It transitions directly into my bits about uh, stereotypes, sweeping generalizations about race. But it's all about straight white men, so fuck them. So anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the best thing about dating a straight white male? They're not like other guys. No. Do you know how you make a straight white male shut up? Ask him about his feelings. You know how you make him say a little too much? Ask me if he has any opinions on race. <laughs> I don't know. People, people attack straight white males for uh, appropriating other cultures, you know. But when we finally make something for ourselves, everyone gets all angry because we're shooting up schools, you know. <laughs> So me and my girlfriend, the one that likes to swear to racism, she, we, uh, we're cool, we're at a good thing. I don't think we're on the same level a lot of times though, because we were watching a documentary about seahorses, and we learned the male seahorse is the one that gives birth. And she turns, she's like, I've always wanted a man that would do that for me. And I was like, babe, I'm not giving birth to a seahorse for anyone, so I hope. <laughs> We were trying to have sex the other day, but we had to stop because I accidentally ate her birth control. It just sort of ruins the mood when you're choking down a new ring, you know? And, uh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> new <Nouveau rooms. laughs> When we were dating, we were out one time and she told me she has daddy issues. And I was like, hey, hey, kinky sex, you know? And I get her back to my house and I accidentally slammed the door and she burst into tears. I was like, those daddy issues, oh no. You wanna watch Full House? Uh, I know, it's sad. I don't think this relationship's gonna last. I don't know, I don't think it's going well. And I say that because this morning she wrote me a suicide letter. It was mine, just three pages about why I should kill myself. <laughs> I think all I'm saying, folks, can I call you folks? I think we're at that point. Like, hey, folks. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> I just want love, you know? It's, but love is weird. It's a little 
ambiguous. It's hard to, you know. Like, you ever told someone you love them, but then later you're not drunk and, you know, it falls apart on you? Hate. Hate's not like that. You know hate. Like, you know hate the second they open their fucking mouth. You hate that guy. Like, I hate this dude right here. And not because I need him for a set, you know, not because I need him for a joke, because it's actual real hate. It's so good. I know I hate him. No one's floaty about hate. No one's lost in hate. No one's like, I hate her, but I don't know if I hate hate her. No, that never happens. A kid doesn't go up to his dad and he's like, hey, dad, I think I hate this girl in my science class. <laughs> when did you know you hated mom? You know? He's just like, well, son, you know, you look in her eyes one day, and you know that's going to be the person you hate for the rest of your life. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Cameron. Thanks for having me. Great time.